Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. Okay. I will give a couple of minutes to wait for the rest of the students. Okay, people, let's get started this evening. Last class, we finished talking about these proverbs, some common proverbs in English. Let me read them for you first. First one says, a penny saved is a penny earned. Second one, a stitch in time saves nine. Next, don't burn your bridges behind you. Every cloud has a silver lining. One person's meat is another one's poison. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. Okay. Did you work on this? What is the meaning? What do they mean? What does the first one mean? A penny saved is a penny earned. What do you think, people? It would mean that uh, it's a good idea to save money when you have it uh, because. Um, Every dollar counts for saving, yeah, for saving money. Okay. Do you agree with Mavis' opinion, people? Yeah. 
Yes or no? Where are you? Are you there? Okay, so maybe it says that that could mean that saving is a good habit. Uh, no matter, I would say, no matter how much you save, right? Yes. But a penny saved is a penny earned. So, okay. Let's see, what about the second one? A stitch in time saves nine. Saves nine. Nine. I like to hear your, your ideas. So what, what do you think that means? Stitch in time saves nine. Uh, if you say a problem as quickly as you can, it would be better that if you solve it later, I think. Uh, okay. Okay, maybe it seems that only you did the homework. <laughs> Only you are willing to participate. The others? Classmates. <laughs> Maybe I should ask directly to stop. Maybe check. <laughs> okay. A stitch in time saves nine. So a solution at the correct time. Uh, um, no, how you you better solve or deal with a problem or with a situation as soon as you can, right? Because sometimes when things are What can I say? I are still small when problems are still small or little, so you can solve them with a little. But if you leave problems grow, if you if you let problems grow, it's going to be more complicated. Stitch in time saves time. Okay, what about the third one? I see others willing to participate. Are they willing to, to respond? Don't burn your bridges behind you. Don't burn your bridges behind you. What does that mean? Uh, I think so. Is the, if you can help other people? My means that. Um, okay. The ter don't burn your beaches behind you. It mm -hmm. could be for a relationship, uh, always leave it. <laughs> Because in the future, you probably need people, teams, business. Ah, okay. Okay, so you better keep doors open or leave the doors open. Doors open, yeah. Yeah. Okay. There is noise here. Yeah, there's noise here. Okay, don't burn your bridges behind you. Hmm. Now, another one. 
Every cloud has a silver lining. Okay, let's do something. You are not willing to participate here together, so I'll send you to work in groups and discuss. I will give you a few minutes to discuss. Maybe you didn't do it. I know you have to work, you work all day, so maybe you didn't have time. So we have already worked on the first three. Penny saved is a penny earned. A stitch in time saves nine. Don't burn your bridges behind. So I will send you to working groups and I want you to uh, guess the meaning of this one. Every cloud has a silver lining. One person's meat is another one's poison. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. Okay. Let's, let's do that. Let's see. Let me send or form the groups. Four, four groups. Okay, join your groups and discuss the last three proverbs. Um, discuss the meaning of them. And when we come back, so I will ask you for a group to give me your opinions, okay? Go to your groups, please, and work together for a while.
Hello, hello.
Okay. Let's see. Okay, let's start with um, Julissa. What does, yes. what, what do you think uh, is the meaning of this proverb? Every cloud has a silver lining. What does your group think about that? Mm, for us, it's like every problem has a solution. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, what, what about, uh, Crisia? Do you agree with you, Lisa? No answer. Okay. Alejandra, do you agree with you, Lisa, about this proverb? Every cloud has a silver lining. Yes, I think similar um, in the, the group. Uh, yeah, the group two, okay. Two. <laughs> sorry. Okay, no, no, don't be sorry, no problem. Okay, what about the second one? One person's meat is another one's poison. Uh, let's see, Pablo, what does your group think about this one? One person's meat is another one's poison. Uh, we don't discuss much of this uh, phrase, but we, I think if one person meat, uh, you can find a treasure when another uh, only see uh, trash, <laughs> maybe. Okay, okay. What do you think, uh, Oswaldo? Pablo says, well, you can find a treasure when where others just see trash. Uh, to be honest with you, it, it is something like uh, well, it refers basically to uh, your actions can be good uh, to someone, and the action in your actions could be could be bad for another one. I don't I don't know. I think so, but I'm not sure too. Okay, well, person's meat is another one's poison. Okay, so people may find or interpret your actions differently. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Morena, what does your group think about this one? One person's meat is another one's poison. Yes, I I, I, I agree with uh, my classmate before. That is, I, I don't know, but I, I'm going to put a, the example if you tell me if I'm correct. For example, the husband with a wife, maybe, but maybe the husband uh, uh, he felt bad with a with a wife, but uh, the wife for him is bad, but for another person could be it's not bad, it's good, I think. Oh, oh okay, I got it. Excellent, got it. excellent. <laughs> it's happening common today, okay. nowadays. Well, but on the other way too. Uh, some <laughs> ladies don't, don't appreciate what they have at home. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. One person's meat is another one's poison. Good, interesting. Now the last one. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. Let me ask to Natalie, what does your group think about this proverb? Uh, we think it means don't rely on something 
until you're sure of it. Okay. Okay, maybe. What What do you think? What does your group think? Don't count your chickens before they hatch. It means that you do not make plans or depend on something good happening. Um, that it has actually, that it has not actually happened. Ah, okay. Okay, and Sylvia, what does your group think about this one? Don't count your chickens before they hatch. No response. Okay, Jamie, Rosibel, what do you think? No, no, uh-huh. Entiendo de qué están hablando o de qué trata el tema porque ayer no estuve en la clase. Well, it's, these are some proverbs and we are trying to find the meaning of these proverbs. That, that, that is the activity. But okay, no problem, don't worry. Will be is when when the when the um, I understand like that when the game it doesn't finish don't say I win I will win ah, because okay. not finish the the game right okay 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 good okay very good now the, we are going to work on this. I will send you to work in pairs now, or maybe groups of three as well. Uh, the idea is to, you, I, as a group, I want you to choose a proverb, not from this one, so different proverb. Uh, you can find, if you want, you can look on the internet if you want, or you can use a, a proverb that we have in our culture. And you have to explain the meaning, okay? Explain the meaning. Look at the example here. One of my favorite proverbs, so you are going to write a short paragraph like this, is there are truth on one side of the mountain which are fell falsehood on the other. I like this proverb because it states an important truth. What it means is that the things that some people think are true, other people may think are false. Okay, so this is what you are going to do with one proverb in your group. You are going to write the proverb and you are going to explain the meaning of that problem, okay? Later, you Teacher, I have a question. Uh-huh. I have a, a proverb, but is in, in Spanish. Um, um, el que mucho abarca, poco aprieta. But I don't, I can't um, explain it in, in English. You, you please help me. Okay, there must be an equivalent in English. Yeah, you should look on the internet what could be the equivalent because there must be another proverb similar in English uh, because um, oh, 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 not only to translate li literally, okay? Uh, but let me let me think about that or, or, or look for it. You can do it on the internet. So, what what is this proverb in English? Okay. Okay. Thanks. Later, you are going to read your paragraphs to the class, people. Okay. So let me form the groups again. 
to four groups only, recreate. Okay, five. Okay, join your groups, please. Share, share the screen the screenshot please Thank okay you. give me a second
Okay. Are you ready, people? Yes, teacher, we are yes, ready. Teacher. We are ready. Okay, great. See you in a moment. See you. Are you ready, people? No, yet. <laughs> okay, give you a couple of minutes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I. Julissa. Hello. 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 Yes, yes, yes. I hear you. Okay, Julissa. Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. And I have two. Uh, the one. The one that I have is kill two birds with one stone. Kill okay. two birds with one stone. What do you like? One of my favorite proverbs is all that clear is not gold. <laughs> we like this proverb because it's a started an important truth. What it means, we don't let us to. Are you ready, girls? Yes. Okay. See you in a moment.
Okay, okay, welcome back. Well, which group wants to start reading the proverb and the meaning? Any volunteer? Yes. Okay, who said us? Morena? Morena, yes. Okay, go ahead, Morena. Yeah, we look for the uh, proverbs. For me, it's good to have proverbs because people can, can say hypothetical and the person understand well, it doesn't mean, it doesn't to explain very well exactly what you have to say in a short, short um, sentences, a true real life. Um, for example, never judge a book by his cover. Ah, okay. Never speak with anybody if we don't know that person. Don't look, don't judge for that first impression. We have to know the person. And another one is still to build with one stone. It's another good, it's another good, good for me. Right? Could because you repeat, could you repeat that one, please? Kill to beer, beer, beer. Ah, ah, got it, got it. With got one it. stone. Okay. Right? Uh -huh. It happened with a, with a, uh, with a woman pregnant, the father immediately went to <laughs> get uh, married, but it's not a solution sometimes, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and another one for me is very funny because when the cat away, the mice will play. Ah, okay. It what happened does... in the class. Uh -huh. When the teacher go outside, the student, uh, make different things inside the classroom. <laughs> that is my okay. participation. Okay, thank you, Morena. Teacher. Uh huh, Julio. He has uh, some problem with the relationship. <laughs> really? No, it's a joke. <laughs> the Okay, do you, somebody else read the proverb? The proverb that you discussed in your group and, okay, maybe. Okay, uh, the, um, Chrysia choose the proverb. Um, all that glitters is not gold. One of our favorite proverbs is all that glitter is not old. I like this proverb because it states an important truth. What it means, we don't let us to convince us by appearances. Things or people that look good outside, but may not be as valuable or good. <laughs> okay, yes, that happens. We must be careful, okay? Okay. Very good. Next. All the groups must have something to share. I'm gonna try to share. Okay, Jancy, go ahead. Okay. Well, my favorite proverb is better day, excuse me, better late than never. Okay. Yeah, I like it because it's so true in the real life. And it's better to do the things that we have set out to do regardless of the weather than to leave it aside and never fulfill. It's a synonym for slow but safe. An example is that we are going on a bus to a certain place and we go so slowly but we, but we will arrive safely even if it's late. Okay, that's right. Better late than never. Okay, perfect. Like the turtle and the and the rabbit. Okay, next, please. Anyone else? A one, two. All the groups. 
Okay, Jamie. My favorite proverb is a frog in a well that no know the sea. Means the one who does not question. Um, I'm sure at the time with the and a block at the well and will never venture to explore the enormous ocean of possibilities that always exist in everything. Um, I like it because that is a great truth today. Sometimes people get stoned in one place and one job and are unable to improve. Can service or take advantage of the opportunities that are presented to them because they do not want to leave their comfort zone. Okay, could you repeat the proverb, please? Uh, the proverb is uh, a frog in a well that no no the teeth. Okay, okay, interesting. Thank you very much. Is there anyone else willing to participate? Okay, very good. Well, um, what else do we have here? Can we finish with the proverbs? Um, we have a conversation and another grammar focus, but we leave that for tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow. We won't have classes tomorrow because tomorrow, tomorrow is the Mother Day. It's Mother's Day, and I want to wish you happy Mother's Day. Okay, to all of you that have the privilege to be mothers, enjoy tomorrow, okay? Relax, do nothing, and relax. I hope your kids Thank you. Thank will you. treat you as you deserve tomorrow. I okay. will enjoy the day in my job. <laughs> <laughs> Working, really? Yes. Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well that, that's, that's why some countries have the second mm -hmm. Sunday, the Sunday second weekend they celebrate. Yeah, tell me. Yes, I'm going to tell you something about the uh, the homework on the system. Ah. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't know if, if I say now or later. <laughs> well, we have a couple of minutes. Tell me. Okay. Yes, but I I have the the answer, but I can I can uh, I don't know why the system. No sé cómo decirlo, pero no no me no me doesn't take the answer. I have the correct answer, but the system no, no, no las, que yo las escribo de una otra manera, pero no me las capta. What That's exercise true. is? What section? Uh, the last section, final exam. Five, section five? Final. The, the final exam? Yes. What exercise let me check please there are four exercises or more okay and um, the c letter c the writing sentence Okay.
Mm -hmm. I have it here, but so I don't know. No sé por qué no. Las escribo de una forma, las escribo de la otra, le pongo una cosa, le quito la otra, le pongo mayúsculas, las pongo normal, pero no me las capta el sistema. Ok. Wow. I will send you a, a screenshot of the answers here. Okay. Thank you. There you go. Okay. Okay, people, that's all for today. Enjoy Thank your you. Mother's Day and Thank you. see you on Thursday, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, bye. Oh, Thank you. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.